Hey guys, what's going on? Today I want to take a second to do a, uh, a little review of a Photoshop plugin that I use a lot. Um, so I did a uh, photo shoot for this company, uh, Evolution Division. They make like rave clothes and stuff like that. And uh, I had like a 3D um, rabbit that I used for this Alice in Wonderland theme. And um, I just wanted to take a second to show you how I did it. I got some questions on how I did it. And uh, I think uh, some people thought it was a little more complicated than it was like I was using Maya or something like that. Um, I wasn't. Uh, and I'm going to show you what I used. I used a plugin called pixel squid. And uh, what it does is it lets you bring in 3d objects into Photoshop, but they're, they're like downloaded from their site. You can't bring in, uh, your own 3D object, uh, uh, you can bring in like their stuff. So basically, this is the website, uh, Pixel Squid and pixelsquid.com, and this is their collection. So, um, you know, I went to animals and uh, the rabbit is on here somewhere. Okay. And so there's two different versions of the rabbit you could use. Um, I grabbed them both and what once once you have an account and you download the plugin um, you can go through their collections and add stuff uh, and I'm gonna get about to this by now thing in a second uh, that's part of the review here so this website all used to be free uh, in 2017 they uh, kind of changed this up or actually it was late 16 but uh, they started doing all this so I'm gonna get into that first I'm just gonna show you uh, what the plugin does and how to use it and uh, show you what's going on so okay we're gonna work with this image real quick uh, okay so this is the original image um, and then the rabbit was brought in after that uh, so normally even though this is broke, you'd be able to spin the rabbit and let's see if it works. Okay. It didn't work. So that's part of the review is this, it is buggy. And when you save the file and you want to open it up later, it might not work. So let's hide this layer. Let's make a new layer. I'm going to go to add new. Um, and I, I want to do something just a little bit different for this one. Uh, I want to add books. I'll show you why the rabbit. Um, the rabbit's actually watermarked. So, okay. So you would go through uh, their webpage first. You would add the items that you want to use. Okay, so you go through, click all these, add them. Um, then you would come back and you would click into Photoshop, make a new layer, and add what you want. Uh, from there, you can resize it. And kind of put it wherever. Uh, okay, so this actually does kind of fit the angle we want, but let me, let me show you what's going on here. So basically, you would turn it in this view, and then it's going to update in this view. So let's kind of get it back to somewhere where we want okay so okay see and sometimes it doesn't update right away like it takes a sec it won't do it so you gotta kind of jog its memory and redo it okay so let's just throw that there we obviously want high resolution Okay, and uh, shadows, we're not going to want shadows on this. If we were just on a flat floor, we would want shadows, but we don't. Uh, okay, and then in this, in the grassy area, I'm going to make a new layer. The only trick I did to kind of fill this in was uh, I went to my brush and, uh, you know, I picked kind of the colors that are around here and uh you know went in 
and drew some grass. Make that a little bigger. Uh, put the opacity down a little bit. So all I did was just that. You know, and I'm just going to do a quick. Well, uh, obviously that doesn't look like grass. Uh, okay, so I don't have the brush right now, but you guys get what I'm doing. Um, just kind of go in and you would fill out the area a little bit better. And you just want to kind of keep picking different colors. Whoops. Opacities. And I mean, you guys get what I'm doing. Uh, if you want, you can select areas and drag them over, but you just want to add, you just want to have a little bit of stuff in front of it to really kind of trick the eye uh, into thinking that's 3D. So with Pixel Squid itself, I want to get into a review because I used to use this a lot and it was all free. You know, you could go to their site, drag in whatever you wanted. Um, you know, and it was just really handy to have. Now they uh, went through and they, they did this subscription thing to now it's like eight bucks an object or uh, you can pay like 10 bucks a month to have it just, you know, use whatever they want. As far as their collections go, yeah, they got a lot of stuff, <clears throat> but man, me personally, I don't know if it's really worth 10 bucks a month. Um, okay. So let me show you one more quick thing before we go back to site. They do have the option now with the update. Uh, you get the option to like embed the layers now. Uh, all right, hold on. Let me save it. Okay, save the file. I'm going to embed. Okay, so this is one of the new things when they said, hey, we're charging. They're like, hey, oh my gosh. See, I have a lot of errors with Pixel Squid. Like, it's, it is still buggy, I think. I'll try this one more time. Okay, now it's working. So they said, hey, we're going to start charging, but we're also going to give you, a, you know, you're going to have, uh, you can embed the object and you have the lay, the atmosphere layer. <clears throat> you're going to be able to do uh, depth, a field and everything. And, um, <clears throat> you know, that's great. Uh, what's downloading now is stuff like this. So it's going to give me the depth map. Um you know, like with this here, we have the books. If we wanted to put a raptor or whatever in, you know, we're in a sunny day with a blue sky. We're in a sunny day with a blue sky. You might be in a desert, whatever. You're going to be able to, like, kind of color balance it a little bit more. And um, you can do the depth of field, okay, blurry. So... The thing about that, oh my gosh, yeah, some of this, I don't know what's going on with this, hold on. Okay, so rest, yeah, I'm just going to undo this. Uh, this normally does work but i don't know what's going on here so i'm just gonna do that uh normally it'll bring in all your layers let me try it one more time 
normally it's going to bring in all your layers and you're going to be able to uh, see now it's not reading that layer anymore. So, okay. It would bring in the extra layers and it would give you the, the bitmap stuff or the, the depth stuff. But um, the issue I have with that is it's not that big of a deal. It's, it's almost way easier just to, once you kind of get everything in, um, you know, rasterize your layer, duplicate it, command J, um, you know, take the top layer, put a Gaussian blur, 4.6, whatever, and then just go in with an eraser and, you know, set it, you know, it's at 20% and just kind of do that. Like, you know, it's, it's just, I, I don't think any of that depth stuff is worth it at all for the amount you're paying for it. So, um, however, if you got the money and you're fine with paying 10 bucks a month or $8 an object, you know, it does come in handy. If I had a shoot like this and I just wanted to, you know, throw in a couple rabbits or, you know, you're doing something real Alice in Wonderlandy or, you know, uh, maybe you're doing something different, need some cars, tractor how i mean it does come in handy and it's a really cool plug-in uh you know you're looking at 20 bucks or something maybe to have some some really cool 3d effects so depending on what you think that's worth you know that's what it's worth so i'm going to show you real quick uh let's just go over some of their stuff. The thing is this though, you can't bring in your own objects. It has to be from this website. And that's the biggest thing. Um, they do have a lot of different stuff. Uh, I'm going to show you one quick way. Like, okay, look, we got the space guy here. Oh, all the space station stuff. <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry guys. Uh, let's load this guy up. Okay, so uh, I mean, you 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 can roll around him. You can go onto the website before you even download the plug plugin, and kind of check this out. I'm gonna show you one quick way to like, uh, you know, kind of cheat the system a little bit here. If you're in Safari and you go to your, your inspector, and you go to the resource tab, and you go to the images. There we go. Okay. Now you're kind of seeing what I'm getting for. You can grab some of these images and, uh, you know, there you go. Now they are JPEGs. You don't get the PNG, a little bit of a workaround for people who, uh, you know, don't want to do the subscription. So that it is what it is. I, I think personally that they're overvaluing, uh, what this, plug in and their uh things however at the same time it's really really cool and i really do like this plug in i just don't like the subscription model they went to and you know i think this should be way if they're going to do the monthly thing i'm already paying 10 bucks a month for photoshop it's for just photoshop the full program and lightroom i'm paying 10 bucks a month and now you're saying to you know, do some 3D objects because I'm not going to be doing this all the time. And if I was really that into this program where I'm constantly putting 3D objects into my photography, uh, you know, chances are I am just going to get Maya. And that way I have, you know, I can literally use anything, you know, and uh, I can probably render it better. So at 1099, no way for me, just totally out of the question. Uh, possibly if I have a shoot, you know, where I really need this and the client, you know, is going to spring for the 20 bucks or whatever to get these three different versions of the rabbit. Okay. That's cool. That's totally, I'm fine with it. So that's my review. It's awesome. It's super easy to use, download the plugin and just basically drag and drop, you know, uh, and here's, yep. This is the last thing I want to show you. This is what happens when, uh, you don't own the object. You have the uh, uh, lines through it. With this rabbit, it's a little hard to see. But um, that's it. That's Pixel Squid. 
and check it out for yourselves. Uh, if you guys are doing some kind of stuff like this, it's very useful, but comes at a price.